This is a two bedroom volcano base suite at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. It's one of the largest options at Universal because it actually can sleep eight. So this is the living area. We are staying here, so it looks a little lived in, but this is the living area and it does have a fold out sofa. Um, there's a little table here. There is another table. So you have a little more room um, in the second bedroom. There's a, another dining dining table, but this is the living area. Um, kind of similar to the regular rooms at Volcano Bay. You actually have a fridge over here, which is weird because you have a kitchenette over here <laughs> with a fridge that's a little bit larger. And then you have your sink and your microwave. They do have some plates and bowls and coffee maker, um, utensils and that kind of stuff, a couple shelves. If so, if you bring any food with you, any snacks, you can definitely keep those here. Um, there's also a really nice Volcano Bay view from all of these rooms. Now, if you do want one of these rooms, you need to book it pretty early because there's one only on each floor. The rest of the rooms, um, these are in the beach side and bay side towers, and the rest of the rooms are just regular rooms. On each floor, there is one two bedroom suite. I think there's only 20 total, and they do sell out because like I said, they sleep eight. So we'll look at the bedrooms. There are also two bathrooms and they're split up a little bit differently. So this, you just have your toilet and your sink. Uh, right here, you actually have the tub and shower combo. So this is kind of one of the bathrooms, there are two. And then around the corner, you have a full bathroom. So there are two full bathrooms, they're just set up a little bit differently. But you have a full bathroom here with a stand-up shower. So in the main bedroom here this is again set up kind of like a regular room at cabana bay would be however one thing that's worth noting is that this is a double bed this is not a king so some of the rooms at universal like for example the kids suite at sapphire falls there's a king in the main room and then twins in the kids rooms but in this particular in this particular suite, there are three double beds and then a sofa bed. So you, but you do have a bed in here with a door that closes, so it's a completely separate bedroom. You have TV uh, drawers, and then you also have the same Volcano Bay view here. And then in the second bedroom, you have two double beds. Drawers over here. Sorry, this room is a lot messier. And you kind of have a view over here, a little bit of Volcano Bay, but mostly you can just see the pools, uh, the Americana building, Aventura is over there. You can kind of see the Hogwarts castle. There's only 20 of these rooms, so they do tend to sell out. They are substantially larger than the family suite at Cabana Bay. The family suite sleeps six, and this one will comfortably sleep eight, if you don't mind two being on a sofa bed. So if you have a larger family or you just want a little more space, this is a really great option. The downside is that it is pretty far because it's in the Bayside and Beachside buildings, so it's a little bit of a walk to the main areas of the resort. But if you don't mind that and you want more space, this is the best option that sleeps this amount of people at this price point because any of the larger suites at the other resorts like Hard Rock or um, Royal Pacific are gonna be a lot more expensive. So you're really getting a lot of space here and at more of the Cabana Bay prices.